Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're doing well today. So last time we talked about a tool called the lighting tool, which I really love. Today I want to talk about the naming tool, which is right below it. Um, so let's say that you have a scene and there's a lot of objects in it, a lot of materials, and you just want to tidy it up a little bit so it's easier to deal with. So we know that each of these nulls is a table with a bunch of chairs around it. And we want to rename all of them, but we want to do it really quickly. So we're going to highlight all of the uh, nulls, and then we're going to go to Tools and Naming Tool. And here are all of the options for the naming tool. Now we have Replace at the bottom. So let's go ahead and just type something into the uh, prefix. Let's type in table and hit replace name. And then it's going to add a prefix of table, but we still have that null in there, which is kind of annoying. So let's hit uh, undo. And instead of that, let's go down one below to replace. So let's replace null with table. And then let's hit replace name. And just like that, we have everything named and it's nice and tidy. So that's um, a quick way to rename a bunch of stuff in a hierarchy. This is used in character animation a lot. But here's one thing that you might not know about the naming tool. We have apply to objects here if you want to rename objects. But we also have materials. So if we change this to materials, let's go ahead and delete this null here. So we want to take this table and we want to take all the materials associated with it so that they're easier to find in this uh, giant mess of materials. So what we're going to do is highlight all of our objects in that table. And in the material manager over here, let's go to function and select materials of active objects. And it's going to select all the materials that are being used in this table. And then we can go back to our naming tool and make sure that we have applied to materials set. And we're going to hit, uh, we're going to do a prefix on this one. We're going to do table and dash. And then we're going to click replace. And you'll notice over here in our material manager that now they all have table in front of them. So now we know which materials are part of that table. Uh, we can take this one step further and go to function and add to new layer. And if we add to new layer, so we have this little layer pop up here. If we click on that, now we have the materials organized into just that layer. And if we double click on the layer, we can do table. And now if we want to see all the materials, we can click all. And if we just want to see the materials on that table, we click on that little tab right there. So that's a quick way you can use the naming tool to rename materials or objects in your hierarchy and really tidy things up quickly. Thanks again for checking out the Pixel Lab. We really appreciate your support. We'll talk to you next time.